I'm going to show you how to dump a PSP UMD to the PSP. I'm going to be using Infected. So first I'll turn on the PSP. There's my custom firmware. I don't know if you can see it, but it's 5.00 M33-3. Okay, first thing we'll do is we'll go down here and hit my select button, which brings up my VSH mode and my USB device. I'm going to switch it to UMD disk. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. We want to press select again, and we want to put the UMD into the drive. And we want to go to, oh, we want to go to USB connection. See where it says that on the, right there you want to open, you want to view the files. Right there where it says UMD 9660. You want to copy that to your desktop. And I'll come back when this is done copying. See, it's going to take a while. There it is. My UMD is done copying from the file. I'm going to go over here to USB mode on the PSP. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to press select. Bring up the menu. The M33 VSH menu. I'm going to go back over to memory stick right there. You want to hit select again. Go back into USB mode. There it is. Okay. We have an ISO file right here. You need to click that. See, I have Metal of Honor Heroes from from a previous uh, video. I'm gonna delete that. It's gone. Now I go back into my desktop. Get that out of there, and take this UMD file and put it into my ISO file. I'll be back in a few minutes when this is done. We have the UMD file copied right there. What we're going to need to do is rename it. Rename. And I'm just going to name it Infected. Infected. There we go. You want to go back on your PSP. Get out of USB mode. Go over to Game. Oh, by the way, you need to take the UMD out. There it is. UMD's gone. And there it is. CSO file for infected. I'm just going to go through this and show you that it works and that I'm not yanking any change or nothing. It's, this is all true.
See? Works. Comment, rate, subscribe.